Born into slavery in 1864, Colonel Charles Young became the third African-American graduate from the United States Military Academy at West Point and the highest ranking black officer during World War I. In 1894, Colonel Young was assigned professor of military science and tactics at Wilberforce University, the first such department at a historically black college. His storied military career spanned nearly 30 years. Prior to his Wilberforce assignment, Young served with the 9th U.S. Cavalry. Promoted to captain in 1901, Young commanded a cavalry troop in the Philippines during the Spanish-American War. After distinguished service in the Philippines, he accepted appointment as acting superintendent of the Sequoia National Park, the first African-American to hold that position. He was responsible for the construction of a road that opened the park to the public. Following his park service, Young became the first black officer appointed to duty as a military attache. He first served in Haiti and then in Liberia. His exceptional service in Liberia earned him the NAACP's highest honor, the Spingarn Award. In 1916, Young again served with distinction, this time with General Pershing's exhibition into Mexico against Pancho Villa. Declared medically unfit for active duty during World War I, Young rode by horseback 500 miles from his Wilberforce home to Washington, D.C., only to gain a reversal of the military's decision near the end of the war. He was recalled to duty shortly before the armistice, assigned a second time to Liberia. He died in Lagos in 1922. While at Wilberforce University, he effectively developed the first military training program for African-American college students. The program exists today as the Marauder Battalion, headquartered at Central State University. A gifted linguist, Young taught Latin, Greek, Spanish, French, and German while at the university. Also, he coached the drama and glee clubs and organized the ROTC band. So Colonel Young came, he established the ROTC battalion, but that was just the first part of what was a tremendously important military career. He fought in a number of military campaigns, ranging from Pancho Villa with Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. He had the distinction of being the first African-American superintendent of a national park. As commander of the 10th Buffalo Soldiers, he literally opened Sequoia National Park. He lived about a half a mile or so from campus in a house he purchased from a woman who was a former slave. That house was built, I believe, in the 1850s. It still stands, and it still was a marker as his home. It's an historic place. Colonel Young, in addition to being a military officer, was also a Renaissance man. He spoke several languages. He played music. He was involved in the life of the Wilberforce community, and he was also involved in the life of two very, very important men in the history of the African-American experience. And I speak specifically of Paul Lawrence Dunbar and W.E.B. Du Bois. From what I understand from the lore is that they would go over to Colonel Young's house, play music, recite poetry, be involved in, in the kind of intellectual activity that's so important to an institution and was so vital to the life of Colonel Young, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, and W.B. Du Bois. The Young House served as a roadside inn during the 1840s. In the late 1850s, the inn was converted into a residence for Captain Smith, a planter from Mississippi, who brought his children and their slave mother to live in Wilberforce. The house is said to have been a station on the Underground Railroad. Charles and Ada Young purchased the property from Laura Smith during his tenure at Wilberforce University. In 1970, the Young family home was purchased by Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated and placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1974. The podcasts are a project of Central State University archivist Sheila Darrell and English professor Amy Hobbs Harris and funded by the Central State University Office of the President and Office of Sponsored Programs and Research. 
visit the university website at centralstate.edu.